Hi, welcome to this vlog. Right, today I'm going to attempt to explain why caravanning isn't cool and also why the media especially want us to believe it is cool. So you're probably used to lots of other vlogs, um, usually not not us lot, caravan vloggers, but sometimes the larger channels will depict the image that caravanning is cool. Now what do they mean by that? Well, well a couple of things, if you look at, if like me, you look at news, any news article that maybe mentions caravanning, normally it's... Um, sort of static caravans but sometimes it is actually caravans but when you drill down further into the news article they're not not they have a brief mention of caravans but they go on to their obsession which is generally camper vans right there so they they've got a headline caravan in his new call or so or caravan is cool again or something like that i looked at one the other day i'll try and maybe put a screenshot of it here but when you go down just not even any more than one paragraph, but the photo is a VW camper van. So what the press are really saying is that VW camper vans are cool. But anyway, let's go back to why they might have said caravanning was cool. So as I've said many times before, we started in 2006. Um, now I looked at a few articles here, I'll, excuse me looking down at my notes, like I said in the last vlog, I do preparation. So. Um, the first one I saw was uh, 2005. Now that was the year before I started caravan. So in 2005, what made caravan cool? Or in the eyes of the press, what made it cool anyway? So I think some of it is try to, trying to revive the British tourist industry possibly, trying not to get quite so many. I mean, I remember, I definitely remember, um, I think it may be when Gordon Brown was Prime Minister, going on about in the spring about this year is definitely a barbecue summer we've had you know and then the weathermen going yes this is. and I remember that summer really good I can't remember the year but I remember him saying that and I remember the summer being absolutely shocking so I was thinking all they're trying to do is get people to holiday in this country which isn't a bad thing obviously but so so what what else are they saying makes caravan cool well I've got a few things here firstly um where are we so yeah, the promises of heat waves is one of the things there, which is you know what I have experienced firsthand. Um, the Met Office and the Prime Minister saying this summer is going to be a barbecue summer, and it being a nightmare. Uh, secondly, is kind of celebrity endorsements. Like I've got, I've got a whole list of so looking at one article. Um, so these these famous people had recently got caravans, and I think this is maybe two thousand six. So Kate Moss, Jensen Button. Sean Penn, a caravan, um, Margaret Beckett, now I know I've seen her on telly recently talking about caravans again, uh, Mark Owen from Take That, uh, Lorraine Kelly and JK from the singer from Jamiroquai. The more you read down this article, JK from Jamiroquai, did he buy a caravan? No he didn't. He bought a £100,000 motorhome. That's not a caravan and that £100,000 motorhome does not make caravanning cool. Um, Sean Penn, Last time I knew, he was an American actor. So he's going to have an Airstream, right? 100 cent, 11 Airstream. Kate Moss, Jensen, you know, they And I think amongst all that, I know from... Uh, Jamie Oliver was, was one who... And, you know, they're not buying caravans. They're buying VW camper vans. So the press seem to lump caravanning in with camper vans. But it's not really the same thing, is it? And another thing, when the press talk about cool caravanning... <clears throat> They mention, um, they mention like airstreams at one end and then go pods at the other, you know, the micro tours. And nothing in between, not your Swift, my Bailey, sorry, your Bailey, my Swift. They, they don't get a mention ever about being cool. And this is why caravan actually isn't cool. And in any case, here's some reasons why caravanning is definitely not cool. So when we got a caravan in 2006, this, I saw this article just before buying it and actually I was tempted not to buy one because I don't want to buy a caravan if it's considered cool because I don't want those type of people um, on caravan sites. You know, caravanners are generally 
my experience, generally keep themselves to themselves, quite friendly, hello, um, we'll stop and chat to you, but you start getting people that think they're cool, they're gonna have 15 friends with them, they're gonna have five cars turn up, and they ain't gonna follow rules. Sorry, that's what cool people do. They don't follow rules. I don't even know what the word cool means, right? It, it, that's how old I am. I don't know what cool means, but maybe the idea of a we get it on social media, right? So Instagram are, are great for this. You'll get a camper van with a couple sitting with their feet like this, legs like this, camera looking out through the back of the open door to the, the picture of the Grand Canyon or something, right? That's, that's pretty cool, isn't it? But that's not real life, is it? Well, not for me anyway. Um, so emptying the toilet when it's peeing down with rain, that isn't cool. Uh, filling up the aqua roll is definitely not cool. Emptying the waste isn't cool. Putting up an awning isn't cool. Now, an awning itself might be cool, but putting it up is not cool. And there's so many manual jobs. Reversing onto the site isn't cool. It's bloody hard. Motor movers are cool, I'll give you that. But using them, they don't look particularly cool. Do they? It's like you've like got a massive remote controlled car, haven't you? Or remote controlled caravan, actually. I mean, you know, people that see them. I mean, I have. Uh, we live on a little lane here, and neighbours, sometimes they come up while I'm getting the car caravan off the drive and I'm using the motor movers and they'll just stand and watch. It's like, you know, when I finish, I'm sure they'd rather don't do a round of applause. So all those things you have to do with a caravan, they're not cool at all. So some of the articles I've seen, so there's one here, 2006, so it's, it's official, caravanning is now cool. And then it doesn't really talk about caravans at all, or not yours and my caravans. Um, 2017, caravan is cool again after it fell out of fashion. I don't know about you, but, well, I do know about you, because you'll be the same as me. You go on holiday every year in the caravan. <laughs> yeah, it's not a fashion thing, it's just, I got, well, the reason why we caravan, one, we don't like um, long haul flights, we don't like airports, we don't like loads of people, we don't like hotels, um, all this kind of, and it's gonna be probably be the same with you. It's, you know, it's good for, um, people's well-being, uh, people that can't often get out of the house, it's fantastic for them, they can get in the caravan and be in another place, and basically, like we treat it, we treat our caravan like our home. So when we go somewhere else, we are somewhere else, but we're also at home, which is brilliant for people with um, disabilities, anxieties, all those sort of things, it's a great thing. Um, but it is not cool. I'm sorry, I won't have it, I'm not having it. And I'll tell you now, and I know I know people have Airstreams, but I don't think Airstreams are cool. Now, I know it's a personal thing. Um, when I was a lad, uh, we used to go out in the, near the town where I live. We go to a, a we had one club in the town. Um, it was the naffiest club in the world. But we used to come out of there, uh, say two in the morning, and go and get a burger. And the burger van was, no word of lie, it was a converted Airstream. So when I see an Airstream, some people see a beautiful piece of engineering, rivets, nice aluminium shiny I see a burger van I'm sorry I do that's what I see they're not cool I'm not overly keen on mini tourers um, and by the way I made a, a vlog of mini tourers once and my god you get the mini tourer mafia after you they're so passionate about what they I mean why should, why would it bother them that I don't like them I don't, I don't understand why they get so defensive over me like there's some of the smaller tourers they don't have a real toilet. That I'm not going to go into, but they don't have a real toilet. They have a pull-out portaloo. Don't want one of those porter cabins if portaloos if you're over 50. You know, men over 50 probably go to the toilet more than any any other person. And if you're getting up at three in the morning and dragging this thing out of a cupboard, and I'm sitting on basically on the floor right next to the bed having a pee. I mean, and that would be maybe it could before I had the troubles fixed. It could have been three times a night. <clears throat> so mine's experienced. Experienced? My, I can't, I can't speak English. It's the sun, it's this strange thing. Um, in my experience, caravanners as people are not particularly cool people. And I definitely lump myself in that category. Um, why do I say that? Well, because caravanners tend to be lumped in with like train spotters or people with obscure hobbies like that. And I think a lot of caravanners 
do like trains, me included. And I don't know what it is. I don't know. I think caravanners are, a lot of caravanners anyway, I don't speak for everybody, really I speak for myself. They are anti-cool. Anti-cool? Anti-cool. You know, so if something's cool, they will probably avoid it like the plague. If something's cool, it means it's going to be busy, full of people that are not going to like. Yeah, so, so again, in the press, they'll say caravans cool. They won't mean the caravans that we've got. They'll mean airstreams, um, go pods. Then they run out of ideas and go on to not even motorhomes that we know, straight on to RVs, £100,000, great big American things that you can't drive in this country. Um, and if all that fails, the next thing is VW camper vans. But so the headline, you'll think, oh, caravan is cool. It's not at all. It's not a Swift and Bailey. It's an Airstream and a Go Pod. And I just like to say, right, because I don't have a particular like for Go Pods and Airstreams, doesn't mean you shouldn't get one, doesn't mean they're bad. It means I wouldn't have one. I'd probably like it if I went in one, but just seeing it. There you go, there's my disclaimer. Unsubscribe if you own either, feel free. The years that caravanning was cool, or became cool again, well, I could find was 2005, 2006, 2008, 2010, 2011, bit of a gap to 2017, and of course now, 2020, 2021, caravan is cool because of COVID. That doesn't make it cool, does it? It means more people might want to do it. And just because a lot of people do it doesn't make it. Please stop with the coolness. Caravanning cool or not, you decide. <clears throat> um, I'll tell you now, if Piers Morgan buys a caravan, I'm selling up. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more content. Um, See you in the next one.